Hi everyone, uh, my name is Sarah Courtney and I'm here today to talk to you about Armed Forces Day. I am the Deputy Chief Nurse in NHS Hampshire and the Isle of Wight and I'm also a very proud veteran. Uh, I served from 1993 in the Queen Alexandra Royal Naval Service. I'm here today talking to you from Fort Southwark, which is an ex-military base, uh, couldn't be a more appropriate setting. In our geography, um, we have got the largest uh, population of both serving armed forces personnel, but also their families who support them. And we also have a very high number of veterans across Hampshire and the Isle of Wight. So when we're thinking about strategic healthcare planning and the services that we deliver, it's really important that we are considering our population and the specific needs sometimes of our veterans. Armed Forces Day is a day for us to come together. It's a day for us to show our support uh, for all of those people that are serving or have served. There are many Armed Forces charities, uh, both locally and nationally, that can also provide support and help. Um, and I personally, for myself and my son, have recently accessed two of those, uh, RNRMC and we remember St Mariners Charity and they have provided amazing networking, support, signposting to us on a very personal level. Many of our NHS providers are now accredited through the Veterans Covenant Healthcare Alliance. This means that they've reviewed their services and the offer that they currently have towards veterans and serving personnel and their families and that's an amazing um, representation of how important this work is to them. The final thing I wanted to mention is it, we would love to engage more with you and through our Hampshire and Isle of Wight Voices, which is our citizens panel, we would love to hear from our Armed Forces family um, on engagement around future service design uh, and the NHS services that we provide locally. Thank you.